Um, how are you all doing? I hope you are doing well. It's a new day and um, we've got most of the news out of the way. So pretty much today we might get some form of a trade idea. Um, looking at how the market is moving so um, mostly it's going to be the new york session right um, i'm still weighing on other price action and see what they are trying to do so uh, starting with the dollar index we had an eventful day yesterday where price just went both up and down that's why we stayed away from doing anything now we've come up right into deeper this last up candle i think they should be taking out this um so today i'm actually watching this auto block okay because we closed above it so we're tracing back into it on the lower time frame we have this h4 auto block we also managed to close above this high confirming that we want to continue going up so I'm looking at this as a potential retracement for a continuation and um, even if we take out this low I still suspect the potential reversal unless we close below it if we break this and close below it then we have a range high low high break then we have a bearish range then we can start looking for sell ideas and we go on to the foreign currencies to get buy ideas okay but until then the trend is still bearish so we remain bearish All right now i did catch something of right here price hit the order block right there and then on the lower time frame it gave a bullish order block after taking out this so I took a long to go to this uh, where is it this down candle so that's where I closed my trade right that's where I closed my trade for two to one so the change of delivery that's the last swing down close and then got long to go up here right so that's basically all that I got this morning now for a long time um, we still for now bearish but I want to see what dollar index is going to do um, today in my opinion it should go up so if you want to if you want to take a trade on euro uh, you might want to use the H4 as your bearish order block and then sell short Right, and it's the usual get your two to one and be content with that. Okay, so if you want any trade, I think two to one and then leave something on to see if they can take out this law. Right, so if you get your two to one, then you're gonna leave something on to see if we can take out this law. All right, so this morning that's what we have um, looking at high 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 break bearish order block breaker we've traded to the bearish order block you can also um, as per the the notes that I gave or the image that I gave you can also wait for and then you go short okay so I'll leave that one up to you um, how you want to um, do that all right and we do have nice equal lows in here and then nice equal lows down there but get your two to one and then wait and see if they can take out this one if you get the two to one and you are content with that and you want to get out then you get out all right um, on British pound we had we had price coming off from this bullish order block on a daily and gave a big reaction I I didn't I didn't see it going up because we had a bearish range as well on the one that you see 
we had raid and then breakdown so it came coming back up the last up candle and then rejected and came back down so i don't believe i didn't believe that price was gonna go up until or unless they break this high we are still bearish okay so i think the trade is much better on this one because he has a clean price action than um the british pound All right so if you want to take any short this morning i think this one looks better now this is the last swing down prior to this rejection so let's say let's play devil's advocate and then price goes up close above this high this becomes your change of state of delivery this becomes your auto block and we can just flip and go long okay and if we get the long we'll be looking um this high this high and then this high but for this high uh, let me draw the line for these highs to be taken right they need to take out something really strong which i believe is this one here so for them to come up here probably they will need to take out this low right that's what i think so for me to start looking for price to come up here for low resistance as i taught you guys recently for us to take out low resistance we need to take out high resistance to go up there all right so that's what i will suspect them to do okay for me to be bullish to come up here now the seasonal tendency for bullishness um on um euro uh, there's a strong movement to the upside from the first of october right from the first of october so if if that's the case then it will make more sense for them to go down there by next week okay and let's see if i can find it okay so this is not tendency for euro there's a strong move that happens from the first of october and we do have a movement to the downside from the 21st up to the first. Um, let me show you guys. This year, this is no tendency has been has not been the best out there. Um, give me one second. Let me check what these guys are doing because I've I've got interest in my um, my weekly analysis on this yen pairs. And also, I've got interest on this one. <laughs> but I'm going to quickly show you the seasonal tendency so you can see. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the... Can you guys not hear me? Can you hear me?
Can you hear me? I mean, the, the microphone is working from my side and it's showing that it should be going through. Let me check if I can hear myself. If I can hear myself, then it's probably coming from your side. <laughs> all right no problem so I was saying um, I was saying that I was going to show you the uh, this is no tendency for um, for euro okay so you can understand why I think they might drop down here and then go up so let's look at the seasonal tendency all right so the seasonal tendency is calling euro down from here from the 21st up to the first right and then from first we rally up and then we have a big drop and then we go up so I'm expecting some form of a rally from the first and that is next week um, that's roughly yeah next week Friday so I suspect that they might um, today's day is 23rd 23rd is somewhere in here so we might go down go up drop rally and then drop okay so looking at this is no tendency um, it makes sense that they might drop all right so it goes in line with the price action that we currently see therefore uh, you can sell short and then expect price to um, go up all right Let me bring out the chart. There we go. Okay, so I will expect them to drop from here to attack this low, and then from from there we'll probably see a rejection, and then from that rejection we'll see. But for now, just look for price to go down. Okay. Um, like I said, you're much better off selling the the euro than the British pound. If you want to sell the British pound, I think you can use this range, okay? Raid, break, return, mean threshold of the last up candle, All right? And then we break down again. So you can actually use this last up candle as your entry. Um, this last up candle as your entry move back down to attack this low and then leave something on to see if they can clear this low which I think they will right which I think they will let me draw the line properly. 
here. Right, and it actually gives you exact 2 to 1. The only downside to it is this equal low and plus we have a rate announcement at 12 p.m. my time. Okay, that's the only downside to this. But apart from that, everything looks like it should come down here again. All right, so um, you make the choice whether you want to go with this or that one. Let's look at New Zealand. On the daily, we mm do -mm -mm. do have a bearish range, but this one has also got equal high right there. You know me, I like backtesting. Um, something that I was looking into yesterday. Uh, yeah, it didn't do it. So what I found out is that um, whenever price is able to close above the previous day's high on a H4 basis, or previous day's low on a H4 basis, and then the next day we had a bullish price action, chances are they're gonna rate the high and then come back down. So we have this price goes up and then close on the H4 above this. But the daily, in a bearish scenario, that's what I'm saying. In a bearish scenario, uh, let's do this. In a bearish scenario, right? This candle closes like this. The next day, we expect price to drop this candle does not close bearish but it goes up then this one next day goes up it's usually a stop run especially if this one closed bullish which it um, it did here let me hide this right this one notice that this one closed bullish next day chances are they're gonna run previous days high and then drop let me show you another example in a bearish scenario and I'll show you example in a bullish scenario as well um, bearish scenario here this candle closes bearish next day it closes bullish following the stop run above previous day's high and then drop uh, this one eventually closed above that so that's different like this down next day up following day read right above previous day's candle and then drop okay i was looking into it last night and it just it was just fascinating to see so um i think chances are they might rate the previous day's high and then come back down unless they close bullish above this high then maybe something different will happen if not then they might attack previous days high and then drop so be aware on this pair because i think it's giving the uh, euro new zealand some strength here okay and i think i'll be watching this one as well because let's look at it low lower low and then we broke high so this down candle or this low here could be important that if they rate it we could see a rejection so I'll be watching this for the New York session for a scalp okay because we have a low a lower low a high probability um, level that we might get something off we actually have one here and we took it out so I'll watch this one too if it does provide any tradable uh, ideas all right so back to this um, as I was pointing out you could um, and it's actually going down right now um, let me see if I can take this one too 
and I'll wait till uh, I'll hold on I'll hold on to it till the 12:45 time. I'll hold on to it till the 1245 time and then see I mean 12 o'clock time and then see how where price will be at that time okay I want to see where price would be at that time this one like I said I think they might take out the equal high so I'll not touch it this one maybe not I don't think they should because they already took out previous days high I don't like it. It's just too sideways for me. I don't like it. So I'm going to move on. Um, this one did not take out this equal high. Um, sorry, this high and it's engineered equal high. So I'm thinking maybe they could come back for it. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe they could go back for it because H4 did close above this bullish. Uh, it's not the cleanest price action to be honest. It's not the cleanest price action in here so... Um, But I still think they might go up there. That that's what I'm thinking. They might go back up here, unless they close below this, or unless they close below this here. Then I'll start looking at this as a breaker. Or we have high high break bearish range, and then we can start looking at them potentially coming back up into the order block right so let's see what they will do from here right also um if they create a h1 order block and yeah, not this one because that time of the day wasn't good if they create another one in here you could use that to take a trade so let's say they close above this right bullish you could use that to take a trade to go up and your stop loss would be below that low because we are still in a bullish range, right? On a H4 basis. And then I'll take it to go and attack the equal high. If not, then I'm just gonna wait and see what's gonna happen. We are trading in London, so anything is possible. Um this one we decided to close the trade because you can see what it's doing it's, it's struggling to go and attack this side which i think it should but this pair is just too boring <laughs> i might end up taking it off from the list because the, at this point and the reason why i've not taken it out i know that the day i take it out that's the day it's gonna push away so i'm holding my grounds to not take it away okay because I feel like the day I take it out, that's the exact date or the exact day price will do the very thing that I'm expecting it to do. So I'm refusing to allow that to happen. Okay, I'm refusing. I'm going to stick to having this here and then wait till it does what it needs to do. But we've closed the trade. This is just a demo trade, so it can be there. I don't have it on a live. I closed the live trade and I've closed the one that I sent you guys. So there you go.
All right, let's continue. Um, let me double check something here quickly because like I said, I have interest in looking at this. They just took out a bullish order block right here. So I want to see what's going to happen next. Yeah, that's why I'm interested in this. Also, um, I sent this one out, so I'm interested in it giving us a bearish range and then see if price will come down. Aussie Yen, um, I'm looking at this also potentially coming back down. Um, we have my, because I have my indicator giving me a signal. Uh, the scripted or the script high 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 so I'm expecting them to give me some trade idea for me in here let's wait 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 there you go see that line so I'm interested in seeing what's gonna happen once we take out this high and we have the breaker right there and that's where we are currently so I'm interested in seeing what price is going to do after taking out this high okay um, Euro Yen same thing high 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 on the H4 high 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 on the H4 trade into a bearish order block now yesterday if you remember during the live session I pointed you to this particular bearish order block right and I said that watch it because it looks like the gold, um, the gold um, trade that I showed you. And look what it did. It gave a big rejection with the NFP. Well, I didn't see it. I saw it after. I think when I was doing the, um, when I was doing the uh, daily review, that's when my uh, it caught my attention that I did have a trade idea set up there. But I did not participate in this, right? So today, um, the H4 also produced another one, which is this one here, high, high, and then we've just taken it out into a bearish shoulder block. So I'm interested in what's going to happen next, which is I want to see them form a bearish order block up here, meaning I want to see up candle and then one candle close below it, and then I'll sell short. Okay. So I want to see an, a down candle come back down, take out an up candle, and then I'll sell short. And I'll be looking for these lows. And here. Okay. Um, same thing applies to this one. Um, the levels that I gave yesterday was this and that. Right. So we are currently trading there. So I'll be interested in seeing what's going to happen here, especially if it gives a bearish range so high low high if we get a break that was a bearish range then I'll be interested in these lows all right so those are what I'm expecting now for the buy-in um, this I'm interested in this bullish order block on the daily here also the weekly range is bullish we are retracing so per our weekly range understanding this is in this is still within our territory of expecting a reversal 618 70.5 where we have the bullish order block right here so i'm expecting them to drop in there um, this is what i just talked about right now we have down down and then one up candle next day opens it takes out the previous day's high and then it just dropped all right so this one should continue going down uh, to come up here i'm sorry come down here and then from here i'll be expecting a reversal all right so if you're interested in this short i think this one is also not bad for price to get down here in terms of profit we don't have much right in terms of profit don't have much essentially this is a market maker sell model we took out the last area of distribution sorry accumulation down distribution we'll be expecting price to take out this low 
right so if you want to take a trade then this one is another potential trade for you with a stop loss above the high and then from here if it happens today great if tomorrow fantastic whatever day happens i'll be hunting for a buy down here now the swiss i was looking at it um I was looking at it um, this morning and that has traded to a bearish range high low high high break that also traded to break so bearish range pull back bearish range pull back so it's like uh, fractal nature of price bearish range pull back bearish range pull back so I'm expecting Swiss to drop um, so this one takes out this low high probability that we might see a rejection All right so pound Swiss could be let's see All right, pound Swiss also did the same thing, which is attack previous days high. Previous days high, and then dropping. Let's see if they can close bullish. If they do close bullish, I think I'll be interested in a buy to come up here. But if not, then maybe somewhere down here. Is where I'll be interested, in, especially here. That's what I'll be interested. Alright, so let's see what happens. Um, let's see what will happen. Okay. New Zealand CAD, um, this one has taken out this auto block here. So that means that's no good thing. So I'm not interested in buying this pair for this week. New Zealand Swiss, maybe this one. Um, because it's still trading inside the last up candle here as the breaker. Let's see on the H4. Okay, the H4 is also in a bearish range. H4 is also in the bearish range, so breaker. I think it might come back and attack these lows. I think this one might come back and attack these lows. So this could also be a sell if you want to take a trade. This can also be a sell. They just took our previous days high, so wait for bearish order block to form. I think you can use this, let them trade below this low, and then you sell short. Stop loss goes above just there, and then look for continuation to the downside. Now, this one they like to manipulate it quite a lot, so be aware, okay? Be aware that um if they do manipulate it's still bearish you're still going to be looking for a drop all right um dollar cad mm. now i was also i was also looking at the cat Futures and card futures also seems to have traded into something on the H4. This one here. Which in my opinion, um, if if everything is right, it should drop back down. Look at how price went up. Should drop back down again. I on the daily we have low high break so this down candle is a breaker 
price stayed here for quite a long time. So this, let's see, mean threshold of this takes you right up to that one. Hmm. Well, I will see. I don't think they should take out this high, but if they do, who was selling here? Someone. Someone sold big time here, so their stop loss might be above that high. So if they do take it out, I will expect a rejection. Okay. Especially today being Thursday and looking at the fact that we've been bearish. We form a swing high, bearish, bearish. Chances are we will see a rejection. So let's see. Okay. So CAD, we might see some form of a rejection, maybe during the New York session. But this pair, I barely trade it, so I'll probably ignore it. So I'll be watching this here. Let me double check if you do have some news event on CAD today. Uh, we do actually have at 1.30 we have core retail sales for CAD and then retail sales for CAD. And it's looking poor. Um, the forecast is very poor. I don't really care about the numbers, but this one is looking really poor. So we will see if price will reject. All right. All right. So pretty much that's that's it. And then we've already talked about this. Now we we'll look for them to drop down here. Uh, pretty much that's all we have for this morning. Let's have a look at indices, um, see what they're happening. What's happening with the indices? Uh, you can see I, I did not participate in this buy, but um, I should have honestly bought this. I should have bought this. Um, let's see looking at it now I'm thinking should I bought it because it's looking like it's gonna attack uh, Friday was here yeah Friday was there so looking at this consolidation it looks like they might attack this consolidation or they will drop back down take out this low and we form a seasonal low on the um, we do form a seasonal low on the 25th We do form a seasonal low on the 25th. Um, let me see. Let me quickly check it. Um, I'm checking the uh, back. Let's go on to seasonal tendencies again S&P 500 yeah so we drop down the drop that happened is not random it's it's expected let's see here Right, so the drop that happened this week was not random at all. You can see we drop down and then forms a low on the 25th. 
we go up and then we come back down and form a low in October and then this this is the buy not the one that's happening now um, the one in October is the buy so 25th is uh, Saturday so we only have tomorrow so maybe they might drop it one more time from where we are let me go back to it okay so back to this one maybe they might drop one more time to form a proper low and then go up and then for October come back down again before going up so on the daily you should see some form of a bearish order block here so maybe today during the New York session something might happen I don't know what but something might happen weekly yeah um, H4 again we will see um, I think something might happen during the New York session and pretty much I'll be expecting some crazy movement during the New York session so let's see what will happen right same thing applies to this one and same thing applies to the NAS okay so we'll be watching them if you do trade them we we'll watch them for the New York session So far, any question? Uh, Swiss is coming down. Nice. Cat is going back up. No problem. Look at the yen. Okay, yen is also dropping. I didn't look at the yen that's why All right so yen is also going to take out a bullish order block so that's going to be interesting I mean look at what the yen has been doing for the last I don't know three weeks up down up down up down up down New York session will offer a sell-off so we wait right let's wait to the New York session because I think New York session will give a either they take out this high into this order block and then drop again right? I don't buy into this rally unless I'm wrong and they, they will take it higher then that's fine but as far as I'm concerned my eyes here so let's see the New York session. All right. Any questions so far? Do you have any question, uh, Mr. Rob?
No, not at this time. Okay, cool. Um, I think our best our best bet is to wait for the New York session. Um, London is always going to be tricky, so New York session offers a good and better price action. So we wait to the New York session and then see. Um, because I I believe that they will they will do something crazy during the New York session. All right. So I'm going to go and chill and wait for the New York session and then see what I can um, grab from the market during the New York session. All right. So I will see you uh, waiting for you car to swing the other way. Um, yes, I have it on my on my. Um, Yeah, I think they will take out this law before something like that will happen. So watch watch that one out. They might take out this law first. Alright, so I'll see you um, in the afternoon and then we'll see what we can get from the market. Okay, take care and go have some fourth, three, four hours sleep and then I'll see you back here again.